Describe a little bit the purpose behind your camp and what you hope to accomplish with it. Um, you know, we're just out here, you know, just having fun. Um, playing with the kids, getting up and down, and you know, seeing a smile on their face, you know, makes my day just as much as it makes this. Is there a goal when you when you put a camp together? Um, you know, no, just coming out here having fun. Um, you know, we want these kids to come out here and learn something new. You know, every time, um, you know, whether it's post ups, dribbling drills, something to take home, and you know, be able to you know put in their time when they're working on their game. I see you out there messing around with them. It brings out the kid in you, doesn't it? Oh, every time, every time. Every time I step out here, you know, there's a lot of joy, you know, playing with these kids. And, you know, it definitely brings out the kid in me. Were you, did you go to camps when you were young? Um, yeah, yeah, I definitely went to a few. Um, you know, and I just love, you know, just getting up and down and, you know, just playing the game. And you know, that's why, I, you know, I just feel so, so good at, you know, with these kids, you know, being able to play with them. What do you feel like you need to do here to make it worth their while to come out and, and learn to love the game? I just be myself, you know, show them that, you know, this game is something you shouldn't take for granted. You should always, you know, come here and, you know, always have a smile on your face every time you play this game and, you know, just play for the for the love of it. I hear they've been asking you a lot about you, the little Okafor. Is that true? Oh, yeah, tons. Tons. Even though he went to Duke, I don't know why they're so concerned about him. What are you telling him? I told him, nah, he's a great player, great, great kid. And, um, so we're looking forward to this season, you know, getting it going. How surprised are you that he's your teammate now? Uh, you know, not surprised at all. You know, we had the third pick, so, you know, anything was possible. So, you know. You thought excited. that was going to happen? No, I did not think it was going <laughs> to happen. Honestly, I did it, but, you know, I think, it's, you know, it puts us in an even better position. So, we're ready. I mean, playing alongside of him, what do you think of that? Uh, I don't mind it at all. I think it's going to, you know, we, we could be a special, you know, um, combination, you know, with, you know, everything I bring to the table and everything he does on both sides, both ends of the court. So, I think, you know, it's going to be something special. What do you think about where you are now with your career? You worked so hard to rehab, and you've become a real relevant player in the NBA. Um, you know, I just I think I've worked on many things, and I think you know, you know, not playing for the 18 months I uh, um, was sidelined, you know, definitely, you know, uh, gave me a lot of time to work on my weaknesses, and you know, this off season, um, having an NBA year under my belt of uh, playing time and experience, um, I think you know, we're ready for a big big leap in this upcoming year. How tough was that, Nerlens, to basically have basketball taken away from you for such a long time? Um, you know, it definitely is tough. You know, a lot of frustration at times. But you, you know, I, I think I did a great job. You know, just channeling it to, um, towards my rehab, and you know, you know, just working to get back. Um, so you know, I really wanted to. You know, I let the game. So you know, every day, every day, I stepped in the weight room. You know, I just worked as hard as I could too. How tough is it though at Philly, where you guys they have a plan, but it's going to take a little while? Um, you know, it is frustrating at times, but you know, we believe. And we have confidence in the front office that, you know, they will continue to, you know, put the right players around us so, you know, we can, you know, make make steps forward. you have a chance to follow your old team this past year? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. You know, I definitely always keep up with the Wildcats. Um, you know, it was a tough loss, you know, to Wisconsin. You know, they had a great season. You know, Coach Cobb did his thing again, six players again. <laughs> so, you know, I think it was a great job, you know, from the whole program. You had a lot of success once you got onto the floor. When you look back at that rookie year, what are you most proud of in terms of what you were able to accomplish? Um, you know, just definitely how well I stuck with it. You know, um, going through the, you know, early parts of the year, you know, I was, you know, real down at times. You know, it, you know, it's just tough. You know, not being able to play up to par like you, you know, would want to. And, you know, I think I did a great job of just staying with it. And, you know, keeping my confidence. You know, keep continuing to you know, work hard through that whole process. Who did you talk to or kind of rely on when you got in those those down spots? Um, you know, I, I, I talked to, you know, definitely my older brothers. Um, you know, Coach Kyle definitely reached out to me a couple of times, you know, throughout that period and, you know, definitely helped me with, with everything as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it was definitely a, you know, a process, but, you know, I definitely think I did a great job getting through it. There were reports today that, that Cal is being a target of the Sacramento Kings, possibly coaching. Is he a guy that could coach in the NBA? Some say college coaches don't work. Is he a guy that could make it in the NBA? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think Coach could coach anywhere that has to do with this game of basketball. Um, you know, I think his resume speaks for itself. Uh, you know, whether he does or not, who knows? I mean, I think he has a pretty good gig here and with Big Blue Nation, so we'll have to see. Willie Cauley-Stein came into Kentucky with you. You got a head start in the NBA. Now he's there. What was it like seeing his game transform? What kind of impact do you think he can make in the NBA? Oh, man, it was amazing, especially just being back from freshman year when, you know, we'd see Willie, you know, in his raw form and, you know, see, you would see the flashes. But, you know, now to see him, you know, what he is now, he's become, you know, a beast, a man. And so I think, you know, he's going to do a great job translating into the NBA. You know, he has, you know, the media skill where he could be able to contribute right away. So I think it's going to be fun watching him. You were taking 
taking it out on the kids a little bit, being serious with them. Is it important to remind them who the boss is? <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, I don't I don't go easy on these kids. They got to know it's a big boy, big boy <laughs> league. <laughs> Nerlens, you were you had to wait so long to play in the NBA, and, and you're taking full advantage of it. But how tough was that when you finally got healthy and got out there and started banging around with the real men? Um, you know, it's definitely a transition. Um, you know, I definitely worked through it, and you know, having to, you know, just have to take 18 months off and jump into the NBA, you know, from college, you know, was definitely a um, different type of experience. So, um, you know, I think I did a great job. I stayed with it, and you know, um, definitely, you know, got better and better. One of the knocks on Willie is he doesn't really have an offensive game, and you worked hard on your offensive game. But what, what kind of job? is he looking at because you obviously you got to play both ends of the floor oh yeah and i've seen willie and i've played against willie and i know willie can score the ball you know i think he'll be he'll um you know have a little more freedom at the next level you know um and be able to do a little more you know kentucky everybody you know the time is cut down and everything so i think willie will have a better you know chance to showcase and you know as long as he works he'll be all right i don't know if you followed any of this but there was a question about whether or not he's really quote serious about basketball because you know willie's a little different did that surprise you to hear that some people might doubt how serious he is about playing ball? Oh, no, no. Every time, you know, we've played, you know, Willie brings it every time. You know, if you can step on the court and play that hard, you can't tell me you don't care about this game. Everything that uh, you've been through in terms of the injury, how has your game and how have you matured? Uh, is that again? Just dealing with the injury that you had over the, couple of, uh, the last couple of years, how have you matured and how has your game changed? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I've definitely, I think, you know, that I'm um, sitting out 18 months has definitely matured me in a lot of ways, you know, being able to work on my weaknesses and, you know, continue to sit out that long and, you know, um, just be able to build myself in so many ways. Thank you, sir. No problem, no Appreciate problem. it. Good luck.